This slide covers the topic of the Snowflake data breach. Please note that this presentation is confidential. We will be delving into the specifics of the Snowflake data breach incident, including the companies affected, the nature of data compromised, and the threat actor involved. The information provided is sensitive and should be treated with the utmost confidentiality. Let's move on to the details. In this section, we are going to dive into an overview of the Snowflake data breach that occurred in May 2024. This breach had significant implications for several high-profile clients, including Ticketmaster, Santander, QuoteWizard, LendingTree, and Advance Auto Parts. The threat actor identified in this incident is Shiny Hunters, known for previous breaches and data leaks. The data exposed during this breach was comprehensive and sensitive. It included customer records, financial information, and internal HR files. Such a wide array of data being compromised has raised major concerns regarding the security practices surrounding Snowflake's data management systems and the potential repercussions for the affected clients and their customers. In the following slides, we will examine the timeline of the events that led up to and followed the discovery of this data breach, providing further insights into how the incident unfolded. Let's delve into the timeline of events for the Snowflake data breach. On May 14, 2024, Santander publicly announced that their database had been accessed without authorization. Just 10 days later, on May 24, a hacker claimed responsibility for the breach in a forum post. By May 27, data from Ticketmaster was also posted on the same hacker forum. This led to Live Nation, the parent company of Ticketmaster, confirming the breach on May 34. Finally, on June 1, 2024, breaches at QuoteWizard and LendingTree were identified and subsequently linked to the Snowflake data breach. In this slide, we are going to delve into the breach methodology, specifically how the breach occurred. The attackers used multiple techniques to infiltrate and compromise the systems. First, credential theft was a significant factor. The attackers obtained login details using info-stealing malware known as LUMA. This malware is specifically designed to harvest credentials and other sensitive information from infected devices. Secondly, the attackers bypassed security mechanisms by using the stolen credentials to navigate Okta-based access controls. This allowed them to circumvent layers of security that would typically prevent unauthorized access. Moreover, they exploited existing weaknesses within the system. The attackers took advantage of unsecured demo accounts and generated session tokens through ServiceNow instances. These vulnerabilities provided them with additional pathways to sustain their access and escalate their level of control within the targeted networks. Understanding these methods is crucial as it highlights the importance of robust security measures, comprehensive credential protection, and the need for continuous monitoring of potential system weaknesses. Luma Malware is a sophisticated piece of malicious software, primarily involved in credential theft and other nefarious activities. This slide delves into how Luma Malware operates. First, let's talk about its infection vector. Luma spreads through common methods such as phishing emails, malicious attachments, and compromised websites. These gateways are used to infiltrate target systems effectively. Once the malware has infiltrated a system, it focuses on execution and persistence. Luma establishes its presence by modifying registry settings or utilizing startup folders, ensuring it can survive reboots and maintain ongoing access to the infected machine. Understanding how Luma malware works is crucial for defending against these types of cyber threats and implementing effective countermeasures. Continuing from our previous discussion, let's delve deeper into the operations of Luma malware. First, on data collection, Luma malware is particularly proficient at credential harvesting. It targets usernames, passwords, and tokens from various web browsers and other applications. Additionally, it collects extensive financial information, such as credit card details, making it highly dangerous for victims. It doesn't stop there. The malware gathers comprehensive system information, including operating system details, installed software, and hardware configurations. Next, to maintain its stealth, Luma Malware employs sophisticated evasion techniques. It uses encryption and anti-analysis methods to avoid detection by security software, making it very challenging to identify and eliminate. 
Lastly, data exfiltration is a critical part of its operation. Lumma malware communicates with command and control servers to transfer the collected data. It cunningly uses legitimate network protocols, blending with normal traffic to avoid raising any red flags. Understanding these operational techniques is essential for developing effective defense strategies against malware like Lumma. Thank you for your attention. Now, let's discuss the risks identified in connection with the Lumma malware and its impact on Snowflake and its clients. Firstly, data exfiltration is a significant concern. The malware has the ability to steal sensitive data, which can affect multiple organizations that rely on Snowflake services. This exfiltration can compromise critical information such as financial records and customer data, leading to severe security breaches. Secondly, there is the risk of reputational damage. Trust is paramount in client-provider relationships, and any breach can lead to a loss of confidence among clients and stakeholders. Once reputational damage occurs, it can be challenging to rebuild trust, affecting long-term business relationships. Finally, the financial impact must be considered. Regulatory bodies may impose fines for non-compliance, and organizations might be required to compensate affected parties. Both these factors can have substantial financial repercussions, impacting the overall financial health and stability of the company. Understanding these key risks emphasizes the urgency for effective response measures to mitigate the ramifications of such malware attacks. Let's focus on the immediate response actions taken by Snowflake and the affected companies following the identified risks. The containment measures involved quickly blocking any compromised access points and implementing stringent fraud prevention mechanisms to thwart further breaches. An investigation was initiated in collaboration with forensic experts to trace the origins and pathways used in the breach. Additionally, Snowflake and affected companies prioritized clear and timely communication. This included notifying all impacted clients, relevant regulatory bodies, and law enforcement agencies to ensure transparency and mitigate potential damage. These steps were crucial in managing the immediate fallout and beginning the process of addressing the breach's implications effectively. Now, let's delve into the lessons learned from the breach. The first key takeaway is the importance of multi-factor authentication, MFA. MFA is essential for securing all user accounts, providing an additional layer of security beyond just a password. Next, we have the critical role of regular security audits. Continuous monitoring and updating of security protocols can help identify vulnerabilities early and mitigate potential risks before they escalate. Lastly, but certainly not least, is the emphasis on employee training. It's crucial to educate staff on recognizing phishing attempts and malware threats, as human error is often the weakest link in security breaches. These lessons highlight the importance of a proactive and comprehensive approach to security to protect against future breaches. To move forward, let's focus on the recommendations outlined on this slide for preventing future breaches. First, we need to enforce multi-factor authentication, MFA, across all access points. This should be a mandatory practice to add an extra layer of security beyond just passwords. Next, we should implement solid credential management policies, which include regular rotation and updating of passwords to reduce the risk associated with stale or compromised credentials. This will help ensure that even if passwords are leaked or guessed, their window of vulnerability is minimized. Lastly, it's crucial to establish strict network access controls. This involves defining who can access the network and under what circumstances, thereby limiting unauthorized access. By segmenting networks and applying access policies rigorously, we add another barrier that potential attackers must overcome. These measures are fundamental steps to fortify our defenses and reduce the likelihood of future breaches. Moving on to long-term strategies for strengthening your organization's security posture, we have several key measures to discuss. First, investing in advanced threat detection systems is critical. These tools can proactively identify potential threats by analyzing data patterns and anomalies that traditional security measures might miss. Next, behavioral analytics utilizes machine learning to scrutinize user actions and detect irregularities that may indicate a security breach. This approach allows for a more nuanced understanding of user behavior 
and can catch threats that static rule-based systems might overlook. Endpoint detection and response, EDR systems, are equally essential. EDR tools continuously monitor endpoints, such as workstations and servers, for suspicious activities and offer capabilities to respond to threats as they emerge, thus minimizing potential damage. Another cornerstone of a robust security framework is the implementation of Security Information and Event Management, SIEM platforms. SIEM solutions consolidate and analyze security events from various sources, providing insights that help identify and counteract threats in near real time. Lastly, utilizing threat intelligence platforms is crucial for staying ahead of emerging threats. These platforms gather data from multiple sources to deliver actionable intelligence allowing your organization to anticipate and mitigate threats before they can cause significant harm. These strategies collectively form a comprehensive approach to long-term cybersecurity, ensuring a robust proactive defense against potential breaches. Continuing with our discussion on long-term strategies to strengthen your security posture, let's focus on two critical aspects, client assurance and collaborative defense. Client assurance involves maintaining transparent communication about your security measures with your clients. This transparency builds trust and ensures that clients are aware of the steps you are taking to protect their data. It's essential to demonstrate your commitment to safeguarding their information through clear and regular updates. Collaborative defense is about partnering with industry players to enhance your security. By working together with other organizations, you can share valuable threat intelligence and best practices, thereby creating a more robust and unified defense against potential breaches. Collaborative efforts can significantly improve your ability to anticipate and mitigate threats effectively. In summary, by ensuring transparent communication with clients and engaging in collaborative defense initiatives, you can substantially strengthen your overall security posture for the long term. As we wrap up our discussion on long-term strategies, let's move into our conclusion. First, ongoing vigilance is critical. It's not enough to set up security measures and forget about them. Continuous updates and regular testing are essential to identify any new vulnerabilities quickly and address them before they can be exploited. Secondly, adaptive security is key. Cyber threats are always evolving, so our security strategies must evolve as well. By staying ahead of new threats and being ready to adapt, we can better protect our assets and data. Lastly, building strong partnerships is vital. Collaborating with specialized cybersecurity firms enables us to leverage their expertise and resources for a more comprehensive defense strategy. Through these partnerships, we can ensure a higher level of protection and respond more effectively to any security incidents. Slide 11, Q&A. This slide provides an opportunity for any questions you may have regarding the course material we've covered. Whether it's about ensuring future protection, ongoing vigilance, adaptive security, or strong partnerships with cybersecurity firms, now is your chance to seek clarity. Your questions are valuable as they help us deepen our understanding and address any concerns or uncertainties you might have. Please feel free to raise any points or ask for elaborations on topics we've discussed. Let's open the floor for questions. On this slide, we have a list of references that provide additional information and context regarding the Snowflake breach we discussed earlier. These resources are invaluable for those who want to delve deeper into various aspects of the incident. One, the Register offers a detailed account of the breach and its impacts, providing a comprehensive overview. You can read it here, www.theregister.com slash row 31 slash Snowflake Breach Score Report. Two, Soak Radar provides a comprehensive timeline and additional context on the breach. This can help you understand the sequence of events and the broader implications. Access it here, see SoakRadar.io's overview dish of the Snowflake Breach. Three, Security Boulevard gives insights into Snowflake's security measures and the enhancements they implemented post-breach. This can provide a good understanding of their approach to data security within big data. The link is here, slash securityboulevard.com 2024 2 slash understanding Snowflake data security, a balancing act within big data. 
4. IT Pro offers an analysis of the breach and Snowflake's response, covering the response strategies and public reactions. You can read their analysis here at itpro.com slash security tag slash cyber attack Snowflake data breached claims spark war of words over culpability. 5. Cagility provides technical details on how the breach was executed and shares prevention measures. This is particularly useful for understanding the technicalities of the attack and how similar breaches can be prevented in the future. The detailed analysis can be found here, slash cogility.com, slash blog, snoofed breach bash details, dash prevention and tassard slash. These references should serve as a valuable resource for a more in-depth exploration of the incident and its aftermath.